So what do you draw when you don't know what to draw? Well, the options are endless, but today I'm going to show you one of my favorite things to draw when I have no particular idea or just want to mindlessly doodle without much planning, expectations or pressure. This is when I turn to the old masters. According to Wikipedia, an old master refers to any painter of skill who worked in Europe before about 1800 or a painting by such an artist. Reading art history is a great source of inspiration and a valuable learning experience. To do this, you can either drop by your local library and dive in some books, pay a visit to your local art museum, or if you're lazy like me, you've guessed it. We are going to use the internet. Let me share with you a fun online resource. Just search for Google Arts and Culture. Here we are. Here you can find a huge library of various art resources from high resolution images of artwork to short biographical information on artists and movements. It's basically your online art museum. But why are we here? Well, when I need an inspiration or I'm just looking for some fun time sketching but lack ideas, I like to turn to art history for help. Something that I enjoy quite a lot is recreating classical art in my own style with my preferred media and seeing what happens. Usually what happens is something like this or this, maybe this. Sometimes this helps me learn, sometimes I discover a thing or two about my own work, but in all cases I end up having quite a lot of fun. So there is really no downside. If you have a secret love for history and historical fashion and spent your childhood drawing pretty princesses in elaborate historically semi-accurate dresses, this video might be just the thing for you. So let's go! Today I'm feeling like drawing a woman from the late 1700s and after a bit of browsing around I came across this pretty lady who seems to be an artist as well. After a bit of research I find out that she was Elizabeth Lebrun, a French painter who was a personal portraitist to Marie Antoinette and after the French Revolution went on to paint nobles and royalties all over Europe. Her work lies somewhere in between the Rococo and the neoclassical style. I must say, after learning more of her story, I wanted to redraw her self-portrait even more. I always get excited when learning of women of the past who, despite their time, managed to create a name for themselves and build a career in a time when they were actively discouraged from being anything but a mother and a wife. In addition, I think her work was absolutely beautiful, lively and fresh. I started off by some light sketching with a blue pencil. It's, I've decided to cover her in cool tones, so a blue undersketch would go quite nicely with that. I'm going to later use a few of my Copic markers for the covering. They do not pick up the blue pencil, so I'm not worried about smears. Once I get the overall silhouette of the figure, I add some details. I can tell there will be no huge resemblance, especially in her face, but I'm cool with that. This is my fun time sketching and I'm not overly ambitious right now. I'm just glad I found a new artist I wasn't familiar with, got to see some beautiful artwork and to practice my Copic sketching technique. A, bit. a bonus I forgot to mention is that referencing classical art is totally risk-free as those works are in the public domain and free of copyright. This is after all how artists of the past learned from each other by studying the art of the masters who came before. Ooh, I should probably take a minute to apologize for the quality of this and pretty much any other of my videos. I have practically no filming equipment and have to deal with terrible, almost non-existent lighting. I live pretty Nordish, days are quite short and grey, the sun when we see it is very low and rarely stays for long. So I'm now making this video on my kitchen counter, which happens to be the brightest spot in my apartment in the middle of the day. And yes, I have to use artificial lighting, despite having quite huge windows. Thing is, I'd like to first prove to myself that I'm serious enough about this whole video business before I allow myself to get some proper equipment. So bear with me, back to the sketch. I'm actually pretty excited to start coloring, so I'm totally half-assing this stage. 
Can you tell? Once I'm happy with the sketch, it's time to choose my color palette. This is easily my favorite part. I'm basing the color palette on the original painting, of course, but trying to limit the colors to only 3 to 5 and to interpret the original colors to ones that I have in my tiny Copic marker collection of only 20 markers. It's of course also important to me that the chosen colors work well together and are on the cooler side, as I initially envisioned the piece. I ended up choosing E00 Cotton Pearl, which I'll use for her skin tone, her palette and her hat, B39 Prussian Blue for her show and some small accents. By the way, those two markers are among my favorites. You can check the rest of them by following the link in the cards for my top 5 markers video. Next I selected BV31 Pale Lavender, which I'm going to use for her hair and for some soft shadow effects. And lastly V01 Heat for her dress, blush for her cheeks and few small touches here and there. Laying down the colors by the way, most satisfying thing ever. Once I'm done with that, it's time for outlining and I'm going to repeat myself, but I do love this part as well. I'm using a fine liner by Faber-Castell in the color Indantrine Blue. Indantrine? Excuse my pronunciation, never heard anyone say that word before, so I'm just making something up. And yeah, let's bring this piece of sheet to life. I said sheet, by the way, like a sheet of paper. Just just making that clear. Okay, and we're outlining, it's fun.
Lastly, I am using my hybrid white gel pen to add some highlights here and there. The piece is pretty light, so they are not that visible, but I like to know they are there nevertheless. And that's it, we are done with the Madame Le Brun. I hope you've enjoyed this little sketching demo. Let me know if you'd like to see more sketching and sketchbook ideas. What is your current favorite thing to draw when you just want to relax and go with the flow? Oh, and if you try this idea and recreate a piece of classical art, don't forget to tag me so I can see it too. I'm on Instagram as at foreigndead, just like here on YouTube. Comment if you'd like to ask or share anything and like and subscribe if you want to see more. I post new videos every once in a while. <laughs> Looking forward to see you next time and until then, have fun! <laughs>